still crying. Oh well. Hello, hello, hello. <clears throat> Welcome back, everybody. We, uh, as we left off, we were, uh, working on the event. Uh, getting all that good Mothman stuff. Trying to get the, uh, the lore unlocked, because I didn't want to miss out on it this time. <clears throat> It was a pain in the ass to fucking grind. Just because the rotation was just so slow. What is this? Ooh. What do we have here? Oh, oh. Whoa! Whoa! Wow. Looks kind of cool. Oh, it comes with a really cool jetpack? Is that what that is? Comes with a cool backpack, that's for sure. Damn. Wow. Oh, look how cute it is. Hmm. Includes Mothman f found pose. <clears throat> Reported sighting photo mode frame. Purple Mothman eye backpack flare. Ooh, that sounds kind of neat. <clears throat> oh, there it is. Ew, gross. <laughs> uh, Mothman wing clipper backpack. Uh... Mothman sighting poster, Mothman shooting target, Mothman egg in a jar, Mothman wing clipper helmet, Mothman wing clipper outfit. Oh, so that backpack is just a regular backpack. That looks kind of cool. <coughs> well, where is this backpack from? I don't remember seeing this one. Wait, so are those the actual, those are the actual spawns, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Samu I. Samurai. I. <laughs> Fighting stamp pose. I like my backpack though. I also like my outfit too. It wouldn't be something that I buy. <coughs> but it does look cool. We have unlocked the lore. The lore is now ours. <clears throat> it's been tough kind of finding the energy to get back. But we are here now, so it's okay. <clears throat> Last night I was, there were some noises coming from outside. I went to go uh, check and 
I found out that a skunk came over and started trying to steal the the outside cat's food. Oh, it's kind of cute. That's a little cutie. A little cutie patootie. Like the size of my hand. His tail was huge, though. I swear, I'm not even getting, I'm not even starting any quests, but whenever I finish completing some, some of those random daily ones, it keeps giving me crap that I don't want in my dang backpack, like the shooting targets and the freaking, the Scorch Beast blood or whatever the fuck have you. Anyway, here we go, finally. The sacred knowledge is finally ours. Yes. Yes, the sacred tomb. Namburo Uno. Catechism of Wise Hilary the Scourge, as transcribed by interpreter Jill. Time and time again has the wise Mothman come. And time and again the ignorant heard not the message he bore. They were deaf to his whispers, only seeing a monster, a spectre filling them with dread from a world they could not understand. The ignorant heard of his passing and believed not the witness, naming him a figment of delusional minds. Yet the wise Mothman was no emissary from the other realms, nor was he a hallucination of the senses. Time and again has the wise Mothman come, and time and again fools and dullards heard its whisper, yet understood it not. They were closed to his message, hearing only the echo of their own small minds, Bouncing within their skulls. The dim ones named him God and fell to their knees, calling themselves Chosen. Yet the wise Mothman was no skyborn deity, nor had he come to anoint them elect. Time and again has the wise Mothman come, and time and again the man and twisted have rejected his message. They were attuned to other whispers, hearing the call of a thing beyond, drawn to the deep places of the earth for inhuman purposes. The broken heard the song of the interloper and turned from the truth, scorning wisdom as the product of mere mortals in favor of the unknowable. Yet the wise Mothman remains with us, and his truth shields us from the call. Wise Mothman whispered, and wise Charles heard and understood. He guarded us from the flood and fire, and while others fell, we endured. While the dim ones succumbed to the delusions of the holiness he will we witnessed truth while the mad were called to their chthonic master we spurned the slavery of the unliving is it chthonic or chthonic? I don't know. we are enlightened and we know these things to be true the wise mothman is among us and of us that's pretty sus, bro. The wise Mothman lives. We feel his breath and hear the beat of his wings and know that he is more alike to us than not. The wise Mothman comes to us and shares with us his truth. The wise Mothman has found his truth through understanding the world as it is and through observation we approach his understanding. His truth is a lesson. His truth is a warning. His truth 
is a path to enlightenment. We thank the wise Mothman who shares his truth with us, and reject the falseness of ignorant Dianias, dull idolaters, and warped-minded servitors. We observe. We interpret. We listen to his whispers and become wise. Sayings of Interpreter Alicia, as recorded by Observer James. The wise Mothman is, the wise Mothman was, the wise Mothman will be. Before the flood, before the fire, before the dim ones, the wise Mothman saw what its brethren could not, and the truth was known. The wise Mothman sees not, for he has gifted his vision to you. The wise Mothman flies not on wings, for his truth was lifted you up. The wise Mothman bears no heart, for his beats inside the breast of all who listen. The dim ones heard his message, and it filled them with fear. They cowered and prayed and made him a god. But this was not his truth. But some listened and understood, and they had no fear and became wise. The wise in turn bore his truth to us, and we listen and scorn the dim ones who reject the gift. We gather to witness the works and truth of the wise Mothman, glorious Mothman, presage of doom, herald of salvation. We stand ready for your truth, as your wisdom has cracked wide the knowledge of all things. So too shall we transcend the limits of human understanding, students of your gentle teaching. The ignorant are always welcome among us. <laughs> Sorry. For ignorance is the beginning of enlightenment. The ignorant may learn and hear, and in so doing the truth, <clears throat> and in so doing the truth becomes known to them, yet they may struggle to understand. So do the ignorant learn to observe and watch for his signs, that they may return to the fold bearing witness and add to our awareness of his truth. Having observed that may come uh, to understand and learn to interpret what has been witnessed and share his understanding with all of us. In the interpretation of what has been observed, we may all be fellows to the wise Mothman and bearers of his truth. Well. Exodus of the Enlightened, as told to interpreter Michaela by a wise Pearl the Ogre. It came to pass that the worshippers of the pretender Mothman, Wise Charles, then being among their number, did attempt to summon the Mothman and receive his glory. Charles alone heard the whispers of the wise Mothman, and bore his warning of fire and flood, and guided his brethren to safety in the lucky hole mine. The mine sheltered the Mossman's faithful through apocalypse, but there they turned to darker worship, and the time came for wise Charles to see past the visions of the dim ones to the greater truth bestowed by the wise Mossman. Some listened and heard, and when they could no, no more bear the corruption and falsehoods of those who were once their brethren, the enlightened left behind the lies of the deceiver. The world was wild and dark, and many horrors awaited the enlightened in the lands outside the safety of the mine. Dark beasts and strange pestilence stopped the land, and some among the enlightened fell to their knees, crying, What has become of their home? Why have we survived when all is lost? Are we forsaken? 
They called out to Charles to return to the mines and reject the truth, saying there was nothing for them here. Wise Charles smiled upon them, and the light of the Mothman's wisdom shone as he spake to them, saying there was a safety beyond the hills they had known. A lantern awaits them, a beacon of safety and home for those that had heard the truth and been enlightened. He would guide them, and they would fear neither beast nor plague, and would pass beyond the reach of the dim ones and the influence of the pretender, the deceiver. So did the enlightened journey from the bounds of the West Virginia that was into lands untouched by the scorched plague. There they found their church, naming it the Lantern, as had been foreseen. Its light shines in darkness, a symbol of truth no shadow can conquer, and it calls to the wise Mothman wherever he may be, telling him, Here are those who hear your truth. Long may the lantern shine against the ignorant of the world, and never may the dim ones and the falsehoods of the red-eyed pretender snuff out its beacon. Observer's volume, what is that, 27? I don't know. Annotations by Interpreter Walsh. Woods? Ohio? Past midnight, the gibbous moon. The howl of wolves is quieted by the wind's stirring flutter of tremendous wings. Silence settles over the forest, and I sleep unafraid. What is IW? As the lesser creatures tame their ferocity under the calming influence of the wise Mothman, so too should we cultivate tranquility. Deserted town. Virginia? Galax sign damaged. Dusk. Waning crescent just above the horizon. In silhouette against the dying sun, purple orbs shine from a shadow. I am certain it is no longer safe and must find new shelter. The wise mothman oft appears to guide those with eyes to see and ears to listen. He is without malice, but in his wake travels darkness and danger. Mountain Trail, Tennessee. Late afternoon. Storm clouds. A shadow passes overhead, gone before I can see it. The wind carries a fine gray powder which cling to my face and hair. As students of his wisdom, we must remain ourselves that not everything is a lesson. The dim ones would rave about the holy blessings of his dust. We remember, he is wise, but he is also a moth. <laughs> Highway, Virginia. Night. Maybe an hour past full dark. The new moon, sitting at a campfire, I hear the beat of his wings and the sound of him alight behind me. I know he is not there to be seen, and I remain facing the fire. He whispers, and I see forests I have not walked. I awake with no memory of his departure, the sun rising in the east. Not all students can, be students can bear his truth when heard directly and not all knowledge can be understood when learned. We hear his message, and our minds open, but only when we are ready to know its meaning. Watoga, West Virginia. Nearly dawn. Moon had set. I saw the wise mothman eat a robo-brain. <laughs> I was hiding in one of them porta-potty jobs, and the robo-brain was shooting all kinds of holes in it. And then the wise mothman swooped down out of nowhere and just snuffs the whole robo-brain into his mouthpiece. Then he says, It's all good, Dave! <laughs> and flies away. <laughs> Peace out, bro. I got your back, brother. 
Observer Dave has once again fallen prey to the lure of Kim's. Dave, not the wise Mothman, unwittingly teaches us a lesson here. <laughs> On the thesis of Dr. Wallace, as told by Wise Martin the Bearded. Our benighted brethren among the dim ones, even in their misguided worship of the pretender, seek to know their false god better by increasing their understanding as him as a natural phenomenon. They make of him a supernal being, yet they have clamored and scrambled for the writings of those who, like us, study the physical reality of the Mothman. So it was that the dim ones sought the lost manuscript of Dr. Wallace, an entomologist of some small repute who wrote his doctoral thesis on the moth of the Appalachia region. The Dim Ones believed these writings would unlock the mysteries of the Mothman and bring upon them a clarity and wisdom that even they understood they lacked. Hmm. The knowledge of one's own ignorance is the beginning of wisdom. As Benjamin Franklin noted, Yet even from this knowledge they reject the truth of the wise Mothman. They believed the thesis of Dr. Wallace would enlighten them, when enlightenment was already there for those who would listen. The Dim Ones searched for his manuscript in the Kanawha County Cemetery, believing it entombed with him the mausoleum there. Ah, oh. here we see the folly of their defecation of the red-eyed pretender. For why should an entomologist be buried with their thesis? The dim ones imagined a sacred relic of divine truth worthy of veneration, and a hallowed resting place. Yet Dr. Wallace was not their number, and to him the thesis was just another paper among many notable only for securing his doctoral credentials. Those who would seek his thesis unblinded by the beliefs of the dim ones would be better served stocking the libraries of the institution which granted Dr. Wallace his decree. I expect it waits there if it survived at all, wandering, moldering unread among the hundreds of other student works. Perhaps it holds some small light that would help us understand the wise mothman's man's truth, but it is as likely filled with little more than study of ordinary moths. It is no grail awaiting a questing knight. The wise mothman is here, and for those ready to listen, his truth is not hidden. <laughs> False Gods of Appalachia by Wise Nathaniel the Shadowed The wise mothman calls the mountains and woods of Appalachia home, yet the region is the haunt of the other's strangeness as well. These rolling hills are ancient beyond human comprehension, and what were once towering peaks to shame the Alps remaining home to things likewise outside mortal experience. Many a credulous soul has attributed de uh, deific qualities to these things, as do the dim ones, and in so, <clears throat> and in so doing are deafened to the wise mothman's truth. Here I catalogue some of these false gods that the student of his wisdom may not be led into the temptation of dark mysteries, which bear within them no light of knowledge. The deceiver Mothman and his progeny. As the wise Mothman's eyes glow with the violet light of his wisdom, his unenlightened brethren's visions is cloaked in crimson. They and their spawn heed not the interactions of humankind, nor care for us, making of us naught but prey and sport. The dim ones see them and think them gods, divine and sacred, and fall to the ground in ob obeisance. I don't know how to say that. Obeisance? I don't know. Be not deceived, student of truth. These fire-eyed <laughs> lipidoptera lip <laughs> Lepidoptera are neither god nor angel, 
and have no wisdom to share. The Flatwoods Monster Shun this accursed creature, dear students, should you cross path with its haunting form. Let not its amaranth glow fool you. It shares no kinship to the wise Mothman, and where his truth sets loose your mind from the fetters of falsehood, this hovering nightmare binds it. There is no wisdom to be found in such a being. Scorches of diverse shape. I mean the sheep squatch. <laughs> Many tell tales of encounters with beast people in the wilds of Appalachia. Ape men of giant stature and foul stench ape men. Hybrids of humankind and livestock, goat and ram. Even plants that walk and speak with the vegetable minds invading the thoughts of mortals. Some have observed these things, and we know them, but we likewise know that they are neither demon nor deity. Some have constructed totems to call or appease these creatures, and show themselves fools. A beast may come to food left to tempt it, or be frightened by a strange construction. This does not make it worthy of worship. The Interloper we who would learn at the chitinous knee of the wise mothman, who hear his truth and observe the coming and going of him, must speak not of the interloper. There is no fouler deceit than one garbed in truth. Shun its call, for it can bring only darkness. Oh. Wow. Very wise words. Oh, cult of the Mothman. Very wise indeed. Yes. Whoa. Did you? Did you? Did he respond to me finishing reading the books? Johannes, he joined us. Huh. Well, that everyone was all the lore that I could pull. Uh, everything else is just sort of meh. We've been to all these places before. The cemetery is somewhere around this area. Uh, where is that farm? There's a farm. So that's where the cemetery is where they tried getting the, the knowledge. I assume that College around here, probably where they got the credentials at, but I don't think they would have anything relating to the Mothman himself, other than like maybe the study of moths. So yeah, Voltec University right there. <laughs> and the only other thing that I could think of. It's probably the Lucky Hole Mine, but it didn't say anything about the Lucky Hole Mine, did it? But that is where the dim ones like to commune, uh, I would imagine, just because, you know, they do. <laughs> if I fast travel here, I can, uh, I can walk over there right now and go check if they added anything during the event.
I didn't think I would find a hood that would go so well with the outfit that I have on. But, uh, but I did. And, uh, this event <laughs> has probably given me the most beautiful hood that I've ever seen. I love it. I very love it. So good, man. So good. Now we make our way over there. I hear a code boy. Oh, code boy. Is he dead already? Oh, this is him. Okay. He's a lot more blue than I remember. Hmm. This is a nice place. Oh yeah, I remember that. I'm not going there. <laughs> oh. Not now. Keep us safe from the dangers of the zone. Hey, let's go. <laughs> we got what do we get uh. hmm wow nom 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 delete yourself I should probably grow blackberries at my base. <clears throat> I think I can grow blackberries, right? Man, what they really need to do is add, like, planters. Uh, so I can grow fruit and stuff inside my shelter, because that's really the only place that's safe for, uh, for growing that crap. Have they ever came out with one? I wonder. Well, I'm, I'm over encumbered.
Oh, hey. That's the other wedding ring. Oh. Dude. Oh, fuck. There goes his fucking... Oh, he blew his fucking head off, though. The other ring was, uh, was along this river over here, somewhere, I think, uh, was in a house somewhere along the way from Nuka-Cola plant to Camden Park, it was, uh, on a red roach, that's the other ring, isn't it? Love, honor, and cherish. Uh, it's the same ring. Damn, man. Fuck. That sucks, man. <laughs> Things almost got a little spicy. Ooh. Oh. You want to go, bro? You wanna go, bro? I know you see me. I know you see me. Ow! How the fuck did you reach me? Yeah. Is this a lure? Did you get drawn to a lure? What is it? What is this all about? campus here. I did put back on the... <laughs> yeah. 
I'm busy, can't you say? Well, hello. Oh, you look at that deal. Oh, stage. No can in the bowl. Try another camp. This place deserves to get TP'd. Where's an armor workbench? There it is. Wait. Hello. The heck? Could use it, but I don't need it. All right, we're good. <laughs> Oh, I can. I didn't think I would be able to. Ooh. Wow. That's fucking amazing. Like, that is the coolest fucking submachine gun I've ever seen, dude. Explode ignores armor and it generates steel field for some of the hits. What does this have on? Anti-armor, legendary mod, refined receiver, line long barrel, forceful stock, and piercing magazine. So that's like extra piercing. Dude, that's fucking awesome. And it's level 50? Bro. I, uh, <laughs> I want it. <laughs> I'm not going to use it, but I want it. <laughs> I don't know if I have this one. U.S. Covert uh, Operations Manual 4. Wait, is it an aid? I don't have number four. I forgot that it was an aid. Number five. 
Oh wow, these guys are busy. Woo, claim tokens. Hmm. Bar bucket can, baseball bat, sitting, punching, do 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 Bottle bot? Yes, please. Cappy plush, circus bench, circus cube. Rain armor limbs. Dance on Claire's medallion. Floor safe, gatling, laser, glass covered shepherd. Oh. Ooh. Locker, meat hook, pepper, pitchfork, flamer, pitchfork, flamer, power for seating coils, pumpkin racks, cheap spot, staff. Titan plushie, tunnel of love poster, military scorch paint. <laughs> Take blood tequila margarita. I think the only flora that I haven't collected would be an irradiated blood leaf. I don't think I found one of those yet. Nobody really nukes anywhere near them. Almost there to the lucky hole mine. This is where it is. This is the home of the dim one. This is where they commune. Oh, they did speak about it, right? This is where, that's where they, like, were saved from some shit, right? They're like, brother, come back to us. There is no lamp out there. I don't remember seeing these guys outside here. Yeah. 
it, but I did speak about it. This right here is where there used to always be a guaranteed uh, power armor suit, but for some reason in one of the updates in the past couple of years, they decided to remove that. Kind of sucks because this was always like a guaranteed spot. I was trying to get some on a power armor suit and uh, I just kind of sucked that it wasn't there when I was trying to help someone out A lot of bodies everywhere. I have all these notes already. Ah, there it is. This is one of them. And then through there. Hello? There you are. Oh. Watch over us sometimes, Charlie. What the heck? I don't remember seeing these two there. Oh, I say, reckon the worthy will become 
one with the Ooh. divine light. right here is where this fucking weird thing that convulses sometimes is. Oh, did nobody start the thing? Nobody ever freaking knows how to start it. Oh, there it goes. It's walking. Some of these skellies still have flesh on them. What is with those statues? Yeah, man. That uh, stuff was new. Oh, I don't remember those guys being there before. Hello?
How my bullets not reaching that far? That's kind of lame. This is why I don't fucking like the guns in this game. Something from one of the metal do days. Oh yeah. Licorice tastes better. After the meat. because I think that gun's cool. <laughs> Bottle boy. Enclave medallion. Ooh, where did I get this? Oh, this is from the fucking doodad, isn't it? Not dirt. There we go. I wonder if I can make anything in the chemistry station. No, 
Oh, hey. Reduce damage from Scorched. <laughs> and it restores health. Hmm. That's kind of cool. Blood pack, corn glass, mutt fruit, and purified water. Ah. Huh. Ah. Huh. Hmm. Sure, why not? Kind of cool. place looks a lot better at night. It's really nice. I really like it. I haven't touched the other one in so long, but I don't really like going to any other one unless I have to, so. Titi's what titi. so ridiculously quick. Oh, hello. Fine, you know, that makes sense, I guess. Date one of his rabbies. He's not the nice one. I'm fine. I grab the SI breakdown, yes. Also, I didn't realize, because I'm a fucking idiot, that every time, like, so, uh, uh, quite a while ago, so long ago, back when I was, like, getting into this game, I didn't realize all this shit right here. This, this is renewable woods. That's a, that's a fucking, those are wood piles that I can harvest. Obviously I can't right now because someone decided to freaking take that shit. But, they are harvestable. Look, another wood pile. We finally had a weekend where no guests were are booked in the into the hunting cabin, so I spent the day getting all ready for winter. Luckily, they didn't need too much work, just a bit of waterproofing and make sure that there's plenty of firewood at the ready. I sent George to town to pick up food for his silly welcome baskets. I don't know why he keeps insisting on le giving these away. I mean, I've yet to meet a hunter with a pressing need for three types of flavored honey and a dresser sachet. <laughs> It's a nice accommodation, accommodation that comes with the place. This is the service with the smile. Oh my nose is when you get, you get you get service and you get a smile from the extra stuff. Come on, man. Had an early snowfall last night, so George and I broke out our shovels and dug paths to the road and the outpost. But despite the weather, it looked like plenty of deer and elk are roaming the area, so our guests should have an excellent day hunting. I'm not sure what keeps this area so well stocked with animals, but 
We're pleased we picked the right spot when we built Middle Mountain. Just want to head out to Cabin C and fix a broken glass pane. I wish our guest would be more careful. But that's the way it goes. This could be the first year we've booked all three cabins sold solid through February and March. I'm starting to guess that as things get worse overseas, people want to get away from it all and forget their worries. Most of the hunters we're getting, late, uh, we're getting lately are looking to spend more time outdoors and get away from the real world. In fact, I've recently had George remove the radios from the cabins after getting complaints that guests uh, playing music are disrupting the serenity of the place. With the unrest overseas starting to come to a head, George and I have discussed shuttering the cabins to the guests and moving up here permanently. These cabins are secluded enough to make an excellent retreat in case things go south and our homeland gets invaded by commies. For the time being, I think we'll keep the Middle Mountain running normally, but maybe we'll start stockpiling some supplies around here, just in case. It's been a few days, or maybe a week, since the damn commies attacked our great country. I thought we'd be safe up here at the cabins, but I think the radiation from the nearby bomb strikes has moved through our neck of the woods. First it was just some of the dead deer we found in the woods nearby, but now it seems to have affected George and I. I mean, we had some doses of anti-radiation medicine, but I don't think it's enough. George is too sick to travel, but I've decided to hunt for supplies. Ivor Bon Lesigneur. I came back from scavenging trip, uh, a scavenging trip to find George dead and all the supplies I stockpiled gone. The few things that I gathered on my hunt won't even last me a week up here. After I bury George, I think of, I think I'll move on and see what I find, see what I can find in Huntersville, Charleston. This will be my last entry. If anyone finds this message, feel free to use these cabins as shelter. Just remember to stay, say a quick prayer for the folks like your poor George who died thanks to this hell on earth. Hmm. I bet you can probably follow his trail too. Mira, this middleman cabin spot looks perfect for our gang. The hills are full of game, and the cabins will keep out the rad storms. It's a little chilly here in the winter, but hell, it beats sleeping in those damn tents. Pack up your crap and get everyone here right away. I don't want to have to tell you tights twice, Brag. Then they probably died by old Yao Guai. And the honeybee southern stuff and many other things. Lots of animals. I'm making a killing.
I think I found out what was making all those noises. Good day, gentlemen. Uh, often times, not many people are here, but hello, Denzel. We're finished uh, reading all the lore that we've unlocked today. Now I'm just sort of wandering around, not sure what to do. How's it going? checked out uh, Lucky Hole Mine just to see if anything new showed up for the Mothman event and turns out, yeah there's some, uh, there was a couple cultists that were not there before there's even like a legendary one at one of the spots but other than that, nothing really new all over this place. <sighs> there was one thing that I haven't seen yet that I came across today. And it was uh, a dude who blew his brains out with a wedding ring on. It had the same inscription as another ring that I found along the riverbed from uh, the Nuku factory on the way to Camden Park. Kind of sad to see. There's a lot of stuff like that in the, in this game. Kind of interesting to follow some of the storylines for some of these dudes. Well, not the storylines, but the trail that they leave for like the uh, what's it called? Man? For the environmental storytelling. Could be. Could be. I don't want to sell too many stimps. 
sometimes you just get a a, a period where it's like <laughs> you get nothing. I've been following the rotation enough to get like a crap ton of treasury notes. It's kind of nice, but like I don't need them. A lot of the stuff that I can find in what you call it. The gold bar vendors, they don't really have anything too interesting. I'm considering going on to Warframe or some other game just to do something new. How am I? Eh. I'm, I'm doing. <laughs> I haven't tweeted about it, but I made a little, a little, uh, bird skull dude, uh, out of this non-hardening clay. It's kind of cute. kind of don't want to tweet it unless I made, like, a body for it, but I kind of like just, just the skull alone. I, um, I still haven't completed the, the big do dude that I made, but I need some wire to hold him together, because he kind of keeps losing his head. I haven't continued the clay sculpture because I need more. I need. I need just any wire. Well, not just any wire. It needs to be like a certain thickness to hold its shape. Well, you know what I mean. like the roar of these engines look who's back how do I start this again It'll be a pain in the ass to do solo. I don't really want to do it solo. I'm going to have to start a team, but I don't want to start a team, man. I already got everything that I really cared about for that. When you when you do that, that quest, the stuff that you do over here at the White Springs Refuge, you can go and get this thing. It's an auto axe. It's not just a chainsaw, but an axe. It's a freaking axe saw. It has freaking axe blades, man.
this thing. Fifty percent more limb damage, and then five percent more damage after each consecutive hit on the same target, up to forty-five percent. I like the poison one because you know it looks cool, sounds cool, but the poison in these games, you can't really increase the damage for, which fucking sucks, because you don't really know how the hell it works. I don't explain anything. I don't know why my character is making girl noises, because, <laughs> uh, that's not my character. I do they <laughs> I don't know if I want to do the daily off solo either it all just sort of sucks it just works good old Todd Howard hell yeah oh hey oh <laughs> Dang. <laughs> it's full. I was so excited. Jesus Christ! Holy fuck! What the? <laughs> uh, uh, hydrate much? <laughs> Excuse me? <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Bro, you fucking what? Slocum's flavorful coffee machine. How do you get that? I need to look this up. How do you get, how do you I must find out. How do I get it? Where is it? Where is it? I don't know if you can use the regular coffee machine and the flavor coffee machine at the same time. And then I was bringing blah blah blah. Thanks for it. And then I'm gonna go and get this flavor. Uh, if I don't already have the coffee machine and I get this, can I place it? Just bought this and it's not appearing in my menu. Uh, you gotta reload the game. Yes, doesn't show me up. Thanks, no problem. Uh, from, the, from the future, anything that requires time, companions, do 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 do. Uh, such companions, reading quest, coffee, uh, center, can I go to the shelters? I'm just not past that, but it's never going to be stuck there. Meh. Figure out how to start my house, because it's like, I'm going to start the day after. What is the name of the bundle? Just have to fall out first. Uh, you would have to at least purchase the coffee machine. We're gonna purchase the regular coffee machine. Nobody fucking says anything about where you can buy it. How do I get it? Nobody fucking answers. Uh, you can only place one. Appreciate. It flags as a separate item, no discount in the bundle. There was a bundle, apparently. Well, I mean, yeah, of, of course I'd need to buy it, but, like, I haven't seen it. 
I'm wondering how do I buy it? Cause I don't know how to buy it. I wanna, I wanna buy it though. It's nice. Wait a minute. What the fuck is that? What the Sam hell is that? What the fuck? Where did you get that plant from? Oh god, that thing is hideous. Jesus Christ, look at all these water coolers, man. This guy spent a lot of freaking gears and, and springs just to lock all that crap. Does he have anything where you can... Oh, he does. He has the freaking silver cash registers. I love these things. These are so freaking cool, dude. Jesus Christ. Holy fuck. Damn, that's beautiful. God damn, that's a pretty weapon. Fucking wow. That is quite the freaking weapon, dude. I wonder if I can get one of those rolls on my dragon. That'll be nice. Brotherhood special op suit. Looks kind of cool, not gonna lie. Animatronic Clown, Balloon Arch, Bed of Nails, Banquet of Star Balloon, <clears throat> Circus Cage Trailers. Whoa? You can find a plan for the Silver for the Civil War era top top at? What the fuck? Fire Station Bell. Half full pumpkin rack, happy jack-o'-lantern, insurgent hat, insurgent outfit, marine armor helmet, meat hook, mobster's jack-o'-lantern, neon, wow, radstag hunting knife, what the fuck, raider power armor, do -do -do, sitting gorilla, skeleton costume, standing gorilla, Treasure Hunter outfit and a hat. Dude. <laughs> I didn't know there was a plan for this. Hell yeah, dude. I'll fucking buy that. Fuck it. Hell yeah. Now I can have a clean one. I have one that you could find at the, the Civil War reenactment area. Um, over by the fort in the north. But uh, if I can make one, <laughs> that means that I assume there's going to be a clean version that I can make. Watch sounds pretty dandy to me. Do I have my shepherd's crook? I do. So there was this thing that I also got. Another mod that I got. I want to see what it looks like. Glass. Adds better damage. The toothed ones adds poison damage, but the glass adds better damage. But the horned one does even more damage than the glass? Why does the glass one not at least, like, make the target bleed? See, some of these mods just kind of suck. It's kind of stupid.
this does not make sense sometimes. Anyway. Let's see. Headwear. Yeah, look, it's a clean one. Wow. I really love this hood that I got from the event. It's so nice. Look at that top hat. Dang, brother. Look at that top hat, boy. I'm going to show you the other one. There's some random freaking vehicle moving slowly out there. This is the other one. Oh, wait. I see. I see. Wait. Weird. Why do I. I guess it's just clean already. That's kind of cool that I can make it, though. Weird. I do like the top hat. Looks nice, yeah. This is like uh, the only headwear that doesn't clip with it and that I think looks really freaking cool. The, the top hat, I like the way it looks, but the top part of my mask just clips right through it and it's kind of annoying when you notice it. <laughs> Alright, um, I kind of want to... That's the dog one. I don't see a Spoken Joe one. Um, Dude, Dave. I really want that coffee machine. <laughs> I want to make coffee now. <laughs> how to get, 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 how to get. Come on, how does nobody know? Have your own coffee shop with Slocum Joe's Fat Stack Bundle. Uh, when was this? This was March? I think it was March. It was like... A couple months ago. Is that not available anymore? It was probably only available for like a week. <laughs> Traveling lamp salesman. Hey, it's the freaking is the dude from Fallout Four. <laughs> Lamp.
This right here is available right now. I think it's kind of cool, but it's also a little bit silly, you know. Daily ups team is still cool. All these guys are just doing random crap. I don't know what to do. This is this is what happens when you've done everything. You don't know what to do. All the other side quests, they're kind of meh. Everything else that, like, has anything interesting. Once you get all the interesting stuff, it's just kind of meh. And plus, you don't really want to do it unless you have, like, a group. Because otherwise, it's just another hassle. It just feels all like, like another hassle. Mostly because the game doesn't really play that great. <laughs> Bring it on, buddies. Yeah. Come on, come on, come on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go. Make it faster, baby. Keep them coming, boy boy. I'm so freaking fast, bro. Can't stop me. Yeah. Do 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 at a certain point i don't even have to try anymore uh i can miss like a few of them but it'll always cap like around that number that i just got those points that can be actually uh used at a vendor that i got um well not a vendor that i got but the points that i got can be used at a vendor somewhere down here where is it it's right there Nuka World on Tour. It's a new update that uh, showed up this year, I think. And um, the prizes that you can get, or some of the stuff that you could have gotten, are plans for like one of these things. For like some of the machines that you can actually go and play yourself. It's kind of cool. Pretty neat to go and like use when you have buddies visiting. Have little games. I should not move forward. I even have one in here. And I have like one of these bad boys. Or this is a... Uh, it's not the same one where you shoot. This is one where you put a token in. And you kind of... You shoot the target when it starts. Waiting for players to join. You see that? this one this one right here I can get like the most points the fastest
It's pretty nice. Oh, and then there's this one. That's not what I wanted. <laughs> yeah. A lot of cool stuff, but it all eventually just kind of feels meh. Let's see what else I can do. Uh, I'll probably end stream right here. Um, what do I want to do? I probably want to maybe get on Warframe's Aragon. If he's on right now. Uh, or probably continue to read a boy. Anyway, that's it for this stream. I'm just going to head off. I mostly just wanted to read the lore books that I unlocked during the event. So, with that being said, thank you all for stopping by. Hope you all had a relaxing time, and hopefully I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye. You too, man.